Hi guys, hope you are all doing well today and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial shall be the making of this beautiful altar neck drawstring crop top. To achieve this beautiful top, you can use any fabric of your choice. And for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to be using a cutting fabric and we're going to be attaching the zip to the side. If you are new to this channel, you are welcome. On this channel, I upload sewing tutorials and pattern drafting. Consider subscribing and also remember to put on your notification bell so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. So to get started, you're going to be needing the following measurements. You will need the shoulder, the bust, the waist, and the hammer depth measurement. And the first thing we're going to be doing is to draft out a dartless half bodies. And we're going to be modifying these bodies to create the outer neck pattern so the first thing you will rule out is the horizontal shoulder line which will be the top line and then once you've done that you're going to be inputting your bust length measurement so in this case i'm inputting 11 inches rule out that horizontal line and label it as a bust line then you're going to be inputting your desired top length so in this case i'm stopping at the waistline so i'm inputting the waist length measurement here So once you've rolled out that line, label that line as the waistline or your desired top length. So the next thing we want to do now is to create the neckline. So we're going to be using 4 inches by 4 inches, 4 inches for the neck width, 4 inches for the neck depth, just to create the basic neckline. And then you draw out the nice curved uh, neckline shape. And after that, you're going to be inputting your shoulder measurements. So which is your shoulder measurement divided by two. So I input seven and a half inches. And then from that line, shoulder line, you go down by one inch in order to create the shoulder slope. Once you've created the shoulder slope, you're going to be inputting your hand mold depth measurements. So the arm mold depth measurement here is 8 inches. You can watch my basic bodies pattern if you are yet to watch it. I'll put the link down in the description box so that you can understand it better. Then you rule out that horizontal line and that line now will become the chest line. So now that you've done this, we want to create the armhole curve. And to do that, that armhole depth line, you're going to find the middle point. And from that middle point, you're going to mark between half an inch or one inch depending on your size. So here I mark one inch and you're going to be connecting the shoulder tip to that one inch and then to the chest line, just like I've done here. So next we're going to be creating the side seam line. And to do that, you're going to be inputting your bust measurement here. So your bust measurement divided by four. That is what you're going to be inputting here. So if you are using a stretchy fabric, you can take away between half an inch or one inch from your measurement before you divide it by four. Next, you're going to be dividing your waist measurement by four and then you're going to be inputting whatever you get. So I'm not adding any ease allowance here. If you want to add ease allowance, you can go ahead and add your ease allowance. So I'm inputting the exact measurement. So now we have the dartless basic bodies and we're going to be modifying these bodies to create the outer neck pattern. So from the neck depth now, you're going to be marking two inches up. And then you go to the shoulder slope, find the middle point of your shoulder slope Then from that middle point, go down by one inch. So next you're going to be connecting these two points just to create a kind of slightly curved or new neckline. So that will be our new neckline. So now that we've done this, then you go to your chest line and then from the under the arm, you're going to go down by half an inch. And from that half an inch, you're going to be connecting it 
to that new neckline. So you can make it a bit curved depending on how you want it. You can make it uh, slanted. You can make it a bit curved. So here I'm making it a bit curved, not too curved. So I'm just crossing now the old armhole curve. So that is the new armhole curve and the new neckline. So now we're going to be adding seam allowance to this pattern. So to the upper part, we're going to be adding nothing less than 1.5 inches because to the upper part, we're going to be creating a kind of casing for the drawstring. So here I'm, mark, I'm adding one and a half inches to the upper, to the neckline. So you can add between one and a half inches to two inches, depending on the width of the cord you are going to be uh, putting inside. Then you're going to be adding half an inch seam allowance to the new armhole cuff and to the side, because we're going to be adding zipper to the side, I'll be adding one inch seam allowance to the side. Then I'll go ahead and extend the armhole curve to the side line, to the seam, to the side seam line. And then to the armhole curve, we're going to be adding half an inch seam allowance. So for this armhole curve, we're going to be cutting out a facing so that we can achieve a neat finishing since we are not adding any lining. So, but now we're going to be adding half an inch seam allowance to the uh, armhole curve. And then to the M line, I added one inch to the M line. So go ahead and add one inch or more, depending on what you want to the M line. And also to the center front, you need to indicate that we're going to be cutting it on fold. And then we're going to be cutting out two pieces for the, both the front and the back pattern. So I will just go ahead and cut this out. So I've cut it out and this is what it looks like. So now we're going to be creating a facing for this, for the armhole curve so that we can achieve a neat finishing. So I'm using my tracing wheel to trace out the exact armhole curve line, not, the, not on the seam allowance. And then the width of the facing depends on what you want. So here I'm using two inches. You can use lead less than that. So whatever you decide to use, just go ahead and mark it. And make sure that the curve is parallel to the actual armhole curve line. Like so. Then I will go ahead and cut it out. So this is what it looks like. And this is what it will look like when we cut it out on the fabric. So now I will go ahead and cut out this pattern on the fabric. So I've cut it out on the fabric and this is what it looks like. So I cut out two, two pieces and I cut it on fold since we are adding zipper to the side. So for the facing, you're going to be cutting out four pieces for the facing. Two pieces for the front and two pieces for the back so let's go ahead now and assemble it so for the facing you can go ahead and if you have an overlocker go ahead and overlock the edge not the edge that you're going to be attaching to the armhole the other side and if you don't have an overlocker just fold it twice and use your sewing machine to tape it so the next thing you want to do is to place the facing on on the front or the back piece whichever one whatever you are doing to the front that is what you will do to the back so you place the facing on it right side facing each other and you, you're going to sew it following that shape so after stitching it go ahead and notch the curve line so that when you turn it to the right side it will look nice and flat so notch the curve uh, stitch 
and then you turn it to the right side this is this is what it looks like and then turn it again to the wrong side and we're going to create that channel that casing for the drawstring or for the cord so when you want to do this uh you, you will need to first of all fold it using like three one quarter inch before you fold it again and then go ahead and stitch that so you will do the same thing to the other piece okay so i've done it and this is what it looks like so i i did the same to the other side and to the m line i went ahead to stitch it using the seam allowance so now you are going to be inputting your measurements in order to create the side uh, seam so here i have drawn out the side line using a chalk and we're going to be closing one side and we're going to be closing just a little bit uh at one side so that we can fix the zipper to it but if you are using a stretchy fabric you don't need to add any zipper to it just close the two side line just stitch on it but because we are using a cotton fabric which is non-stretchy fabric here we're going to be closing one side uh, and at the other side from the armhole from the under the ham you will mark one inch from the under the ham you will need to close that one inch and then you leave the remaining space and that space, that is where we're going to be fixing the shape to. So I hope you understand this. And then the remaining part of the shape, we just cut it out. So we go to the sewing machine now and do this. So this is the side that we are closing. <laughs> And this is the second side. So for the second side, stitch it one inch and back stitch twice. So this is what it looks like. So you can see where I stitch and the other part, the open part. So we're going to be turning it to the right side. And then you go ahead and fix the zip just like the normal zip. If you know how to fix an invisible shape, go ahead and do that. It will make it look more neater. So here I'll be using just ordinary sip. So just go ahead and fix the sip, just like as if you are fixing the sip to your skirt or to the blouse. So this is what it looks like after fixing the zip. So it's looking pretty already. So that is what the side looks like. So by adding that zip, since we are using a non-stretchy fabric, it will make it very easy for you to put it on. So the next thing is to insert the, the drawstring or the cord, whichever one. We are going to be inserting it through the channel that we created earlier that is the one at the neckline so here I, the length of the uh, cord that i cut out is about 60 inches and the width is about 1.5 inches so just go ahead and fold it twice just to make a long uh, cord and then you're going to be using the safety pin to insert this <laughs> So you go ahead and insert it and then you continue through to the other piece which is the back or the front so this is what it will look like make sure that the cord is not twisted and then you go ahead and gather it like that just to create that uh, effect and then you do the same thing to the other piece which is the back or the front and that's it that's how to make this beautiful uh alter neck drawstring crop top which is perfect for summer 
Thank you guys for watching this video to the very end. I hope you find it helpful. If yes, don't forget to leave your thumbs up, share this video, kindly subscribe to this channel if you are yet to do so. And I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, have a wonderful day. Bye.